There are a few places where keyframes can be managed in the edit page, the inspector, timeline viewer, keyframe editor, and the curve editor. Most parameters in the inspector can be keyframed, with a gray keyframe button showing at the end. To start keyframing, move the playhead to the frame where you want to place a keyframe, click the button next to the parameter, for example the zoom. The button turns orange and we can make adjustments to the parameter. Moving the playhead to a different frame, changing the value will add a new keyframe automatically. Or just click the button to create a new keyframe with current values. You can double-click on the parameter label to reset values to default. Click the left or right navigation arrows to move the playhead to the previous or next keyframe. While a keyframe is selected, click the orange button to delete the current keyframe, or click the reset button to delete all keyframes of this parameter. If the position is keyframed, a motion path appears when the on-screen transform controls is on. Each keyframe is shown as a control point on the path, clicking on the point will move the playhead to the current keyframe and can be dragged around to change the path. Changing the keyframe to smooth will add bezier handles to the point, and they can be used to adjust the curve. Holding the control button while dragging a bezier handle disconnects it with the other one. A keyframe can be deleted using the contextual menu by right-clicking on the control point. Once one or more parameters are keyframed, a curve button and a keyframe button are displayed at the name bar of that clip in the timeline. Click the keyframe button to open the keyframe editor, drag keyframe to move left or right. Alt-click to add a new keyframe. To copy a keyframe, press and hold Alt button while dragging the selected keyframe to a new position in the timeline. You can also press Ctrl C, move the playhead, and press Ctrl V. Click the curve button to open the curve editor, keyboard shortcuts and mouse clicks behave the same as in the keyframe editor. The main difference is that when you drag the keyframe, you can also change the value. If you press and hold Shift while dragging the keyframe, the adjustment will be limited to a single direction, either vertically or horizontally, depending on how you started the move. Clicking one of the Bezier interpolation buttons will change the keyframe smoothing mode. When the keyframe is in easing mode, you can adjust the curve by dragging the Bezier handle around, holding the control button to move only one handle at a time. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and see you next time.